Welcome to Pastor's Chat today. We're talking about the rapture of the church. I've said it often, but I'll say it again. The word rapture is not in the New Testament itself, but it speaks of an event that I am convinced will take place. I'll say it again. I'm giving you my thoughts, my opinions, my conclusions on the end time events that I've come to after years and years of study. Others disagree with me. That's their option and God bless them. They're still my friend and you can disagree with me and be my friend, especially on these things. But these are my thoughts and I'm not gonna take time to answer questions or write my opinion and argue with people about who's right and who's wrong. These are thoughts I've concluded over the years. So I hope they'll bless you and encourage you after many years of study that I can share with you these things that are on my heart. Now, this rapture is the next thing on God's agenda to close the church age. We've mentioned that the last couple days here. And Paul writes clearly about it in 1 Corinthians 15 and also 1 Thessalonians chapter 4. And now we're down to verse 15 in verse chapter 4 where he says we say this to you by the word of the Lord that we who are alive and remain we won't precede those who are asleep for the Lord himself is going to descend from heaven with a shout with the voice of the archangel and the trumpet of God and the dead in Christ will rise first and then we who are alive and remain will be caught up together and that's where we get the word rapture caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and thus shall we ever be with the Lord. The big question now, who will be raptured? I'm convinced when a person trusts Jesus Christ by faith and the Holy Spirit of God brings regeneration into their life, He baptizes them into the body of Christ, and they are His people. They are His sheep. They hear His voice when he comes and says, come up hither. And I'm telling you, my friend, that's who will be raptured, all believers of the church age who have trusted Jesus Christ. Now, remember, it says in the book of Timothy, the Lord knows those who are his. I, I'm convinced when the rapture takes place and we get to heaven, we're going to be surprised who is not there, and we're going to be just as much surprised as who is there. The Lord knows those who are here, his. God knows those who have truly trusted Christ. Some people trusted Christ as a child, but nobody ever discipled them. When they got saved as a child, they stayed eternally saved. They never, maybe never looked too much like a Christian, didn't live too much like a Christian. But if they were put in Christ and baptized into his body, you can't get out of his body. You can't get unbaptized out of his body. You can't lose your salvation. I just believe that with all my heart. And you are his and he keeps you. He'll never leave you nor forsake you. Now, some people don't even know they're saved the way they're living, and they're going to be shocked when they end up in heaven. They thought they were lost. But my friend, I'm going to tell you, Jesus knows, and he's going to rapture every believer. So when the rapture takes place, the dead in Christ rise first. I've stood by the grave many times, even this week. I stood by the grave of a dear saint who went to be with the Lord. Now, the sad thing is the preacher at the graveside made this statement, and I, I just kind of got shocked as I heard him say it. We are all God's children. Now, I want you to know that is not a true statement from the Scripture. We are not all God's children, and God loves us all, he said, equally. And God does love every person equally in, on, on all the earth. That part was true, but we're not all God's children. We're all God's creation, okay, because God created us. But Jesus said to the Pharisees, you are of your father the devil. Spiritually, some of us are not God's children. We're the devil's children. The only way we become God's children, become a child of God, we are born into his family by the Spirit of God, by faith, when we trust Jesus Christ to be our Savior. We must be very clear about that. You do not want to miss the fact that you can have a relationship with God through Jesus Christ. And that's my heart's desire that you don't miss that. Only believers in Christ who are truly in his body, his church will be raptured. And those who have died in Christ, they're going to come out of the grave first. And I'm going to answer that question tomorrow. I think I answered it a few months ago, but we'll answer it again tomorrow. 
but I just want you to realize only those who are in Christ will be raptured. Well, God bless you. I hope that you make sure today that Jesus is your Lord and Savior. That's why Jesus came the first time to bring us salvation. His name is Jesus. He is our deliverer, our salvation. He died for us. God bless you, and you have a wonderful, wonderful day.